Hey, today, inshallah, we are going to complete our talk about the externalities. In the last uh, two lectures, we discussed the different types of externalities. In the last class, if you remember that, we have or we studied uh, the first type of externality, which is the negative externalities of consumption. And we determined the dead weight loss or the social welfare loss obtained by the or due to the negative externalities of consumption and we had an example related to smoking cigarettes if you remember but to make it easier before completing our talk about the other three types of externalities i will learn you something related to how did it, how can we determine the dead weight loss or the uh, with the welfare gains, the potential welfare gains, okay? So, or using graph. So let's come back quickly to, or go to determine the four types of externalities here. The negative, positive. As we mentioned in the first class of uh, externalities, we have four types. The first type is the negative externalities of consumption. Positive externalities of consumption, negative externalities of a production, and positive externalities of a production. The examples that we used or we raised was here was smoking. And the positive externalities of consumption, the health care, which is related to vaccination. And as a positive impact, or which has positive impacts on the community, negative externalities of production, pollution, or the factors that emitting fumes, positive externalities of production, or the big printing. In general, when we talk about Consumption, here we're talking about consumption, consumption. In the graph, there should be two demand curves, one supply curve. When we talk about consumption, we have, in the graph, we have two demand curves and one supply curve. When we talk about production, In the graph, we have two supply curves and one demand curve. Okay? Let's draw the graphs and determine where is the marginal social benefits, marginal social cost, marginal private benefits, private cost. Okay? But before that, when we talk about the, the smoking here, we said that the marginal social benefits is less than the marginal private benefits. Okay? So here, the marginal social benefits is less than the marginal private benefits. And the positive externalities of, of uh, consumption here, when someone vaccinated and have, becomes healthier, this has a positive impact on the community on the uh, workforce, the health of the workforce, and the productivity of labor. In this case, the marginal social benefits will be bigger than the marginal private benefits. Okay? What about the cost here? Okay, for all the pollution here, for the factors that emitting fumes, emitting pollution, the marginal social cost is bigger than the marginal private cost. What about the, print, the bigger printing that a train and create skills, skilled workers for the community? In this case, the marginal social cost is less than the marginal private cost. Let's come back here. As we mentioned that, when we talk about consumption, the graph should include that Two demand curves and one supply curve. 
So let's draw two demand curves here, price and a quantum of cigarettes. Two demand curves, this is D1 and D2. And here's one supply curve. Or this graph here. We're talking about consumption as well. So it should include the, what? Two demand curves and one supply curve. Price of uh, vaccination here, quant vaccination here. Two demand curves and one supply. For the pollution here, production, negative externalized production, production, the graph should include two supply curves and one demand. Here, this should include two supply curves and one demand curve. Let's call it later. And this is that production should include also two supply curves, price and a quantity. Two supply curves and one demand. Let's analyze these or name, call these uh, curves here. And this graph. Here, what do you see? The marginal social benefits is bigger than the marginal private benefits. So here's the marginal social benefits, and here's the marginal private benefits. The marginal social benefits is greater than the marginal private benefits. And this supply curve will represent both the marginal social cost and the marginal private cost. Marginal social cost and the marginal private cost. Because supply represents cost. Here. At this example here. The marginal or the vaccination here, the marginal social. Sorry. Here, the marginal private. The marginal private benefits is bigger than the marginal social benefits. Zbut? In this case, and the smoking here, the marginal private benefits is greater than the marginal social benefits. Take care, Habib. And so, for the vaccination, the marginal social benefits. It's bigger than the marginal private benefits. So here is the marginal social benefits and here is the marginal private benefits. And this is the marginal social benefits equals the marginal, uh, sorry, cost equals the marginal private cost. Okay? Come on. What about here? Pollution. The marginal social cost is bigger than the marginal private cost. So here, the marginal social cost and the marginal private cost. And this curve represents the benefits. Marginal social benefits equals the marginal... Marginal social benefits equals the marginal private benefits. What are this case here? The marginal social cost is below the marginal private cost. So this is the marginal private cost, marginal social cost. And this curve represents the marginal social benefits and the marginal private benefits. Okay? Tamam? Right. Where is the private equilibrium in all these cases? Not the social. I'm not asking about the social equilibrium, the social efficient point for in, uh, in these four cases. I'm asking about the private efficient point. 
The private efficient point occurs when the marginal private benefits equals the marginal private cost. So this is E1 here. For the private sector, the private uh, sector is the most or the, the, uh, the optimum point or the most efficient point is point E here and under the price P1 and Q1. Which means that the private will try to smoke at this point, at this Q. Okay? What do you see at this point? To determine the value of dead weight loss or the social welfare gains or the, the potential welfare gains, we have to take a vertical distance from A1. It's always from A1. From A1 here to marginal social. From A1, it's always in all four cases here. To determine the value of dead weight loss or the potential welfare gains, we have to take a vertical distance from A1 to marginal social, whether it was cost or benefits. Okay? So, from A1 here to marginal social, and the, the triangle, the shaded triangle here, represents what? Loss or gains. Welfare loss or gains. It's loss here. Because we are talking about negative externalities of, of consumption. So this sh the shaded triangle here is or represents the dead weight loss or the social welfare loss. Okay? Tamam? Right. What about, let's go to the consumption, the positive externalities of consumption in this example, the vaccination. Where is the private efficient point? I'm not asking about the social. Here are the social point, the social equilibrium. Here's the social equilibrium, E star. Because this point represents what? The equilibrium, the cross between the marginal social benefits and the marginal social cost. This is the social equilibrium point or the social efficient point. This is the social efficient point. The social efficient point here at P star and the Q star. Which means that the community must, must smoke cigarette at the Q star, not the Q1. Which means that there is an over smoking in the community. So the social optimal point is a Q star at the point where the marginal social benefits equals the marginal social cost. Let's go here for the vaccination. The positive externalities of consumption. Where is the private efficient point? The private efficient point with the marginal private benefits equals the marginal private cost. Here's where the marginal private equals the private. All right? So this is E1. And this is P1, Q1. How can we determine if there is a dead weight loss or social welfare loss or gains, potential gains? We have to take a vertical distance from E1 to marginal social. Care. Here, here's E1. Where's the marginal social? Here. This is the marginal social benefits. So, this triangle, the shaded triangle here, represents what? Potential welfare gains. When the triangle here, at the left side, potential welfare gains. This means that we are able to increase our benefits if we move. What is the 
from Q1 here or increase our consumption. What is the social optimal point? Here's the social optimal point where the marginal social equals social. Marginal social benefits equals the marginal social cost. So this is a Q star. And this is the price star. Here we have potential to increase our welfare if we increase our consumption from a Q1 to Q star. If we can still consume at Q1, there is a welfare here we have a loss. There is a potential to increase our gains, our welfare, when we, if we increase our consumption from Q1 to Q star. Okay? Let's go here. Negative externalities of production. On the pollution here, the marginal social cost, the negative impact on the, or the, the negative cost or the negative impacts on the community is bigger than the private. The private the factor, the paint for, uh, factor is peers or beer uh, cost, but the cost on the community is larger. Okay? So, the marginal social cost is bigger than the marginal private cost. What is the equal, the private equilibrium? What is it? The marginal a private equals a private. Here, private equals a private. So, this is E1. At all. So, here is P1 Q1. This is the most efficient point for the private, not for the community. Which means that the community produce, oh sorry, the private sector produces at a Q1, which maximizes their profits. This point maximizes the profits for the private sector, not for the community. Okay? So, here is where is how can we determine if there is a loss or potential gains from A1 to social so this is the loss or the dead weight loss the shaded triangle here represents the dead weight loss because here we have an overproduction of the products that creates problems for the community. Okay? What is the uh, social equilibrium? The marginal social equals social. Marginal social benefits equals the marginal social cost. This is the equilibrium E star, P star, and Q star which means that there is an overproduction of here for the paint that emitting fumes for the community, which creates negative impacts on the community. So it, the government should intervene to internalize the situation by decreasing the, uh, the overproduction here. So the government should intervene to decrease the quantity from Q1 to Q star here. The government should intervene to decrease the quantity consumed of cigarettes from Q1 to Q star. Here, the government should intervene to increase the number of vaccinated persons in the community from Q1 to Q star. What about the last case here? The private sector. Where is the private equilibrium? The marginal a private equals a private. This is Sorry, here is the dead weight loss. The shaded triangle here is the dead weight loss. What about the last case? The private equilibrium occurs when the marginal social, marginal private cost equals the marginal private benefits. So here is E1. P1. Q1. What's the social optimal point? Social equals social. 
This is Easter. To determine the value of potential welfare gains or the dead weight loss, the vertical distance from A1 to marginal associate. What's the marginal associate here? Is marginal associate cost. So this is the triangle represents, and this is here a Q star, E star, Q star, and this is price star. This represents the potential welfare gains. Because there's a potential to increase our gains if we increase our production from Q1 to Q star. The potential here occurs when or there is a potential to increase our gains, the social welfare gains, if we increase our production from Q1 to Q star. And the optimal price should be P star. At least it should be P star. Okay? The man? Min umur bada tuum? ولا واضحة لهم؟ إعادة. إعادة. بدنا نخش هالقد في اللي بس تثبيت لأنها بدنا نروح على التحليل هالقد. أوكي؟ طيب. Let's go here. At the private equilibrium. What is the private here? What do you see? Which is bigger than what? Which? At A1 here, the marginal private benefits is bigger than the marginal social benefits. Right? And the marginal social, this point represents what? The marginal social cost, marginal private cost, and marginal private benefits. This point here, A1, represents the marginal social cost and marginal private cost and marginal private benefits. So, at this point, at A1, the margin, what do you see? The marginal social cost is bigger than the marginal social benefits. So, and marginal private cost, as well, is bigger than the marginal social benefits. And the marginal private benefits is bigger than the marginal social cost. So social benefits. So we can say that at E1, at the private equilibrium, marginal private here benefits is bigger than the marginal social benefits. What else? We can say that the marginal social benefits it's bigger, uh, so marginal social cost is bigger than the marginal social benefits. Marginal social cost is bigger than the marginal social benefits. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to Private equilibrium. What is the private equilibrium? Here. E1. Let's compare at E1 and this point at the margin associate. At E1 here, at E1, at the private equilibrium, what do you see? This is, or this point represents three things. Marginal social cost, marginal private cost, and marginal private benefits. So, so the marginal private benefits here is less than the marginal social benefits. So, hey, marginal private benefits is less than the marginal social benefits. And 
The marginal private benefits is less than or smaller than the marginal, okay, marginal social. Ah, okay. Here, the marginal social cost. Marginal social cost at A1 here. Marginal social cost is less than the marginal social benefits. صح؟ زبوط؟ طب نيجي الآن هيك. At E1 this represents three things marginal private cost, marginal social benefits, marginal private benefits. What about the marginal social benefits and the marginal social cost? The marginal social benefits is this smaller than the marginal social cost. زبوط؟ And marginal private benefits is less than the marginal social benefits. It's a marginal social cost. And the marginal private cost is less than the marginal social cost. I had three things. Zbut, خد النقطة هاي هيك. اعمل لي ما بين marginal private cost and marginal social cost and the marginal the private cost is less than the marginal social cost. هذا واحد. بعدين. Marginal social benefits is less than the marginal social cost. Let's make a comparison on the marginal social cost. And the marginal private benefits is less than the marginal social cost. And three things. Here. I'll finish here we have three things marginal private cost marginal private benefits and marginal social benefits comparison I mean the name of my marginal social cost so, so marginal private cost here at this point at E1 marginal private cost is bigger than the marginal social cost. This is number one. What else? Marginal social benefits is bigger than the marginal social cost. And the marginal private benefits is bigger than the marginal social cost. تمام. How could the government intervene in the four cases to get a solution or to internalize or to correct the situation or to reach the social optimal point? In this case, where is the social optimal? At the Q1 here, this is the private equilibrium. How can the government intervene to internalize the situation or to decrease the Q star from the quad, smoke the quad of cigarettes from the Q1 to Q star? It has two options. It can control demand, a movement or a shifting in the demand curve from marginal private benefits to marginal social benefits here, leads to a decreasing the, uh, the, well, the smoke the quantity of cigarettes, or it can shift supply here, sorry, uh, decrease by imposing taxes. Hey. ML taxes, supply shifts lift. So we have two options. Either to decrease the marginal private benefits. تخلي اللي بدخن إنه ما يبطل يستفيد من الدخان تقول له في عنا anti تعمل anti advertising تقول له في cancel تقول له في كذا تمام عشان the benefits تبعته تنزل. So the first option or this depends on the effectiveness of anti advertising and تمام is it effective or ineffective? 
this depends on the policy itself and the converse of uh, how to convince the, the smokers to stop smoking. So, the government can decrease the benefits of the private sector. benefits مش عالية. تمام. So, they will smoke the quant of Rahim Zemir Q went to Q star. Or, imposing taxes, corrective taxes, hot and dry taxes, hey, Rahim Zemir supply backward and until Q star. But, but this depends on what? The elasticity of demand for cigarettes, the price will be P2. And the price will go up. Tamam? Let's go here. The second case. The vaccination. The government feels that the vaccination is good for the community and uh, the workforce becomes healthier and the productivity of uh, them will be uh, better and they will be, be better off. Uh, so let's go to the second case here. The vaccination. As you know, or as you see here, that the private equilibrium at, occurs at E1. At E1, this is the private equilibrium or the private official, uh, uh, efficient point for the, the persons who vaccinated so and the optimal the social optimal quantity is a Q star how can the government convince the persons to go for health care or to vaccinate for by or to increase the number of vaccinated persons from a Q1 to Q star it has two options Option one, to control demand, increase demand for vaccination. In this case, the government should make maybe uh, advertisements for the, uh, to encourage them for vaccination. And some, sometimes uh, it can uh, maybe... Uh, issue legislations to uh, for encouragement for encouraging them for uh, health care for vaccination. In this case, the marginal private benefits will increase to reach the marginal social benefits. Okay, you know either by advertising or legislations. Hot conditions على الناس إنه خص بدك. بدك تستفيد من بنفتس من إنه من مثلا من ال ال social ال compensation سبعت العاملين والريتير هذا بيقولوا روح على vaccination طعم هذا condition okay here how can the government solve the potential or get the potential welfare for the community by increasing the quality from the quantity one to quantity star, or how can the government encourage the population for vaccination? It can encourage demand or supply. Encouraging demand for the, such services leads to increasing the private benefits to the social benefits by advertising, by, uh, as we mentioned, by uh, legislations, by preconditions for other services. So, the marginal uh, private benefits will increase from marginal private here to marginal social benefits. So, the quantity will increase. Or, it has another tool which is increasing supply by providing subsidies for the producers who produce and medicine here. So this leads to a right way of shifting of the marginal social cost. This means a decreasing in the marginal social cost or private cost. So the decreasing where for the marginal for the marginal cost leads to what? A decrease in the cost increasing 
This is the marginal social cost plus subsidies. So this curve represents the marginal social cost plus subsidies. The real price, if the government provides subsidies or subsidized the uh, medicine here for health care, for improving the health care, the prices of service will go down. Here's the new price, P2. The prices go, went down from P star to P2. This is the new equilibrium. And the quantity becomes a Q star instead of, of Q1. But in general, the government, if the government uh, wants to uh, or tends to make a successful for the prices here, it should provide the health care here in zero. Zero cost. Free. Okay? Type. Let's go to the third case here. The pollution. How can we control the pollution or the control the factors that emitting fumes creates prop, uh, pollution for the community? The government can impose taxes on the factors that create such a problems. Like here, here we have an overproduction of paint at Q1. And the social optimal quantity of a production paints here is a Q star. How can we decrease the quantity produced quantity from a Q1 to Q star? This can be eliminated by increasing the margin of private cost. Keep it the taxes. So, imposing taxes here leads to increasing the marginal private cost to marginal social. So, so this will become here the marginal private cost plus taxes. This is the, the marginal social cost here equ equals the marginal private cost plus taxes. F and if the tax equals the negative externality here, in this case, the problem will be eliminated or become zero. I know how that did weight loss. Hey, Engel Hick. Should we see it? Dead weight loss, how you see it, Hick. And finally, it equals zero due to the tax here. Okay? What about the last case? The big printing here that <coughs> creates skilled workers for the community. This is the original equilibrium for the private sector. It's both E1. We would like to increase the number of skilled workers who are train and uh, yes for uh, for improvement for the uh, workforce for the community uh, by creating a skilled uh, workforce skilled workers qualified workers the government should decrease. decrease the private cost for the print the big printing here to produce more or to train more workers for the community so it should Decrease the private cost. يعني العامل اللي بنجيبه ندربه في الم في ال في المطبعة الكبيرة هذا تمام بدل ما يكلفني ألف دولار خليه يكلف ميتين كيف بدي أخليه هيك عمل سبسيديز. هو فش تاس أنا أنت هيك بدك تعمل له سبسيديزينج صح عمل سبسيديز شو اللي بصير؟ private cost عليه بتقل فبصير يفرخ أكثر ينتج أكثر. Skilled workers. So here are the new equilibrium or the number of skilled workers will increase. And this is the new equilibrium. 
So the cost here, the marginal social cost equals the marginal private cost plus subsidies. Quantity will increase. Tamam? Let's go home. Yatakulaf. <laughs>